Hi guys, so I was looking through my filmed videos last night and my YouTube videos and I realised it's been nearly a year since I posted and I'm not really sure how that happened because I have been constantly filming. I just think I just haven't got round to uploading them and I've had a phone change so I've lost a lot even though I've got the SD cards and I've put them on this one all the videos aren't showing up so I thoroughly apologise but I haven't really done a lot this year likewise I've gotten a few horses and moved this shelf to a different place in my room this was a previous video but it got lost I filmed it, it was about 12 minutes long and it's gone and this was on this phone so I'm not really sure where that went but the other two I've filmed since have been saved onto this phone and are now uploaded so sorry there was a Halloween barn tour hence the um candles that didn't make it up in time for Halloween and then it was Christmas so I thought I won't upload it but I will be doing a barn tour slash collection tour when I have a new shelf not this one this one's staying this one's lovely uh basically I have too many horses and not enough shelving units for them so I'm gonna treat myself to another shelf in the new year but I'm choosing between a few and it's more stressful than I thought because there's like I'm good at working out what can fit in my room but it's just this is kind of more of the design element of them um, as there's a few. Anyway, I'm sure I will update you on that at a later date. Anyway, I haven't meant to neglect this channel as I am still collecting horses. A matter of fact, I bought this horse the other day. This is Neve, hence the um, charm because she is my newest horse. Um, it's been a long running tradition for a while, I'm not really sure how it started. But yeah, that's her. Um, yeah, these guys, these two, and the Appaloosas here are in my two most recent videos, which is nice to have them finally up. This video will be hopefully less than 10 minutes. I know I'm saying that and it will already, already all have been filmed, but I'm just hoping to get a few things said. Basically, I've been looking at the new 2017 models and I am slightly annoyed at how quickly Slyke are retiring horses and churning them out again. Um, you can tell I focused on Juliet, my Hanoveran mare. The 2017 one looks like the one that Juliet here uh, kind of got remade for. So my, um, my old Hanoverian mare is called Joanna. And the so that's the older model. I think she was 2006. Anyway, and um, it seems they've gone back to her sort of shape. So it's, I know all the management's changed and everything, but it just sort of shows how they're retiring models and then being a bit like, this model's better under the new management. So you're basically buying a very similar horse twice. Like the Pinto Mare, she got retired, then remade like the exact same model, just different black markings. Like she had black markings before, so they just kind of got kept but changed. And now she's different again, and that's in the space of five years, I believe. Anyway, so I'll try not to rant about that for too long, but I should be filming a my retired prediction, like my retired like horse predictions, and that seems to be my most recent older video, so I apologise that it's been a year, but I'll do it again. Anyway, I've forgotten that uh, Slyke did calendars. Um, I knew Playmobil did them because I had one when I was younger, a lot younger. Um, I'd say I was about 12 and I'm now 17 anyway and I think I realized last year like we're doing calendars but I thought no I'm not gonna be bought into the special effects like the special edition horses which re this is another thing that bugs me what I liked about like was everyone could buy everything like there was no special horses that only a few people could get everyone was included and now like have made horses they did they it, they kind of started it off with horses that were like the horse of the year so like the white frasian stallion i believe was one of the newer ones i think he was 2014 could even be 2013 i apologize no i think he was 2014 anyway and that was sort of a nice 
exclusivity because there was a lot of them, although they were expensive. But that sort of started to snowball. So now we have whole horses that come in sets and with Slyke -like accessories. And I liked about what I liked about Slyke was that you could make your own accessories. And now they're doing it all for you again, which is kind of taking child's imag children's imagination away. Uh, I know I'm older. I'm an older collector. Um, I know I'm still young, but I know these are, at the end of the day, children's toys. But so I've sort of had my imagination phase and I, I still make tack. I can show you examples. I have just recently made a few. But to me, I think all the exclusivity is just a bit too much. Like there's a track and a mare and foal set and a track and a stallion and foal set and I've got the mare so I think I'm going to treat myself to the stallion and foal set just to see if I like the sets because it also comes with a human I don't have so I thought that might be quite good value for me but I'm not going to rely on these sets and things because they overlap and it's hard to get them all and there's money and I'll probably only buy other sets if they're slightly cheaper than expected and I can fit all the accessories in my barn because a lot of my accessories are Playmobil or even cheaper things like that black bowl there that's a nail varnish bottom bit so and I'm not really ashamed to say that because it's what I used and then here I made these out of clay these two but anyway I did so back to the calendars yeah I knew they were a thing but I think I prematurely forgot how long they'd be going on for because I thought they'd been going on for two years including this year but it seems I've missed a year somehow and they've been going since 2014 and I think the the one where it's like two eventing horses I was like oh that's nice because it's not exclusive horses like it's the Frasian Stallion and the Icelandic Mare like I thought I thought they were the two horses. Then I looked closer and realised they were exclusive models and I'm now not sure why they're exclusive because they look exactly the same to the Frasian Stallion and Icelandic horse, hence my mistake. But I thought I may as well bite the bullet and get a calendar to see what it's all about and to see if I like it. So I went to a toy shop and I got this. I stood there... And saw it, and I was um I went down to the slike bit, and they had two dinosaur ones and two farm ones, and I was like, oh, I've missed it. I've missed the horse batch. Like they've all been sold out, and I was like, fair enough, they're popular. But then I walked back up the shop, and there was like a huge stand of them that I'd missed. Anyway, so um yeah, I um I saw it I think on Christmas Eve, and then there was of course Christmas Day. Then I went back on Boxing Day thinking they've been reduced because they were this price on Christmas Eve. Then they were still there and I only had £20 with me and as you can see they were £20 which is a good deal. It is. I am I was slightly hoping for them to be even more reduced but I was a bit like if I don't get it they'll be worth even more online quite quickly because the dinosaur one and farm one had both been reduced by more than this from other retailers but these are all 20 pounds but i decided to get it um i full well thought for a good few times of seeing it so for days that these were arabians and i was reading through uh reviews and recommendations for the product and someone said they were a mustang mare and foal and i was like no you're wrong there they're arabians um even though it says nowhere on here the breed of them but anyway then i quickly realized that they were mustangs i don't have the mustang family um uh, so hence my mistake these two do look a lot like the current arabians they don't have the face I can see that now, but I was a bit naive. They also come with a person, which I quite like. It still annoys me they're exclusive. I would rather them not be. I know having them exclusive means that you won't wait a whole year and then see the calendar has horses you already have in it. I know that that's why, but they could, say, announce it at the start of the year that these horses are the calendar horses. They can also be sold separately, but if you wait all year... You will get them in this calendar, maybe with a few personalised items such as the rug and halter for them. I'm not sure. I just don't like the exclusivity of everything. And they also come with a cat, which isn't exclusive, and a few accessories, which I've pretty much got a Playmobil version for all of that. 
so I thought I'd open it soon and kind of do a review um, because I'm no offense I'm not an overexcited nine-year-old I'll kind of I can kind of justify things but I think overall it's a good purchase I just as I've stated many times in this video already I don't like the exclusivity um, yeah so I will I am still buying horses just not as not at a fast pace as I once did because usually I'd go to a shop and there'd be five or six horses I didn't currently have and now I walk in and pretty much the whole thing is horses I don't have like where I got this from then um, there's like a wall of horses just for horses and it was just lovely to look at them but I if these were reduced more I would have bought another horse because that was my money that's what I decided to spend my money on um, but they were 20 so I only got this but a lot of horses are retiring that were in that shop so I'm slightly wanting to go back but it's sort of journey away so it won't be happening for a while so yeah I'm just saying I have got this I'm not going to be eager to open it I probably won't open this until I've got the Mustangs just so I can really look at it I'm not sure why there's so much dust flying up here um, I'm not sure what's happening but yeah um, so basically expect a collection tour soon expect a new shelf soon maybe <laughs> if I decide on one expect an opening of this soon and expect a haul of Mustangs soon hopefully um, and maybe some other bits and bobs when I've bought them but yeah thank you for watching and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get back into filming I've been wanting to film this since I realized that it I'd taken nearly a year to put a video up um, and I thought I'm, I wasn't sure when that opportunity was going to be yet it was a lot sooner than I thought so thanks guys for watching I uh, hope you had a good Christmas and holiday period and I will speak to you soon. Bye!